Tommy Zane is out of the bloodline. What is going on, man? Roman Reigns is angry. Oh my god, so much drama. Um, yeah, it was the first show of SmackDown this year, 2023. The first thing I saw on the morning was a clip from SmackDown where uh, the title was Roman Reigns kicks out Sami Zayn out of the bloodline. And that was a huge spoiler for me. And it's great that actually that didn't happen. That didn't happen. We kicked off SmackDown with Roman Reigns and the bloodline in the ring. And Roman Reigns was angry because of the fact that Sami Zayn took the pin on the last SmackDown with John Cena and uh, Kevin Owens. He uh, was angry on Sami and he was uh, screaming on Sami and shit like that. But Kevin Owens came out and he saved the day. He was like, Roman, I am your enemy, not your Sami. Give me my match at the Royal Rumble. We all knew that match was gonna happen, so yeah. Later that night, Sami Zayn went into the Roman Reigns office, office, uh, cool space, I don't know, and he was like, Roman, sorry, uh, I don't want to be the tribal chief, I don't want to question your things, uh, 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 and uh, after that, Roman apologized. And he was like, I, I just, lo he, Kevin Owens was right. I am just a goofball and uh, you're not my enemy. That's why Sami Zayn has a match against Kevin Owens next week. And we all know that Sami is gonna lose because Kevin Owens should look strong against, towards his match with Roman with the Royal Rumble. So I'm really curious what's gonna happen there because we all know for sure that Sami Zayn is gonna lose and uh, what are gonna be the repercussions then? Is he gonna get kicked out of the bloodline then? But other cool things that happened that night. We are having a feud with Santos and Kofi, uh, which is cool, I guess. Uh, I kinda hope for Big E return and basically we have Legado Fantasma versus The New Day uh, kind of feud. Yeah, we had Ricochet and uh, Top Dollar squaring off for the spot in the Royal Rumble and Ricochet won. And of course, we all want Ricochet to win because I believe that he's gonna do something insane in the Rumble. Uh, like he's gonna hold uh, on the... I don't know. He's gonna do something crazy just to hold on there. He's not gonna win, uh, but it's gonna be fun. And after that, Hit Row attacked. Uh, Ricochet after the match, after Ricochet won, and basically Braun Strowman came out and he saved Ricochet. And it's a little bit strange because Braun Strowman now is in a feud with Gunther for the IC title, and uh, I don't know what's uh, the plan there uh, with the Heat Row. Uh, the Heat Row is going a little bit down, and I really don't know what is the direction they're going with Heat Row, and I really want to see something cool for Heat Row, but I have uh, no ideas, uh, but I don't know if uh, a feud between Top Dollar and Ricochet or Hitro and Ricochet in general is, is the way to go. Also, we had a strange match. First of all, let's talk about this a little bit. Last week, Sh Charlotte Flair came back and she won <laughs> the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is reminds me a little bit of uh, when Becky Lynch came back and she won the Raw Women's Championship in just a few seconds. It was kind of the same thing. For some reason, Charlotte is face right now and uh, everyone is cheering her and she's very likable right now, but I'm in a weird headspace about that. Uh, I'm getting the same vibes as that Becky return and uh, I don't know what to expect. For example, tonight, uh, last night, we had Sonya Deville versus Charlotte Flair, and it was actually a good match. Like, Charlotte Flair was able to put Sonya Deville in a good light, and Sonya Deville actually deserves that because she's there for a long time, and she was always in some sort of a bad feud, just for the sake of the feud, and I just don't know. We had a mixed tag team match. Uh, the cool thing about that is we saw Scarlett uh, for the first time competing in our WWE ring, uh, but it was strange because it was Matt Capmos and Emma versus Karen Cross and Scarlett. It's kind of weird, as I said, because uh, we all know that Karen Cross is preparing for a feud against Rey Mysterio, 
uh, same time they were visiting that last feud with Madcap Moss where he already choked out Madcap two times and now he choked out Madcap third time. It's strange because uh, if you put Madcap and Emma together you should elevate them in a way and mm, you're not doing that right now and uh, what is gonna do with uh, what are you gonna do with them right now uh, after Karen Cross and Scarlett are done with them it's uh, kind of strange maybe they both can help Rey Mysterio in his feud against Karen Cross because we all know that it's that Rey Mysterio doesn't have a sh chance against Karen Cross but anyway it, it, I just wanted to express my thoughts. And last but not least, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre versus the Usos. It was banger, of course, it was banger. Of course, Usos won. Uh, and we had like uh, back and forth segments uh, for what is happening from uh, the Romans office. I'm gonna call it office because I don't know what it is. I don't know how to call it in English because of my stupid English. But uh, yeah, we're having that funny segment with Sami Zayn eating popcorn and after that Roman was eating popcorn. But in general, it was, <coughs> it was okay. In general, the show, 4.75 out of 5. It's a respectable score and we'll see you next week. Uh, actually, in a couple of days for Raw, okay? Chill. I don't know how to sign off these videos, but uh, peace.